thing was that uh, Mr. The, our package immigration and uh, the students of the Mazzoli Bill dealing with the same subject matter are sufficiently close together that uh, I think we can really uh, get that through. If we do, it will be unusual because nothing else of this kind has come close to getting through. Mm. President, this is a bill I think will attest to the fact that every president before has taken two subjects, Social Security and Immigration, and worked on it in the last half of the last year of his term right. so that they just <laughs> flopped over to a successor. <laughs> and uh, the fact that you're tackling both of these early on, I think, is uh, automatic. It's really yeah. something. As a matter of fact, there's, really a, there's a lot of credit because it was just so many curves. Well, we've, we've also been very lucky in having two committee chairmen. We've got Alan Simpson, yeah. who uh, uh, has been just superb, and Ron Mazzoli in the House, Democrat, has been great, too. And needless to say, this, this is an issue that has uh, a lot of grassroots interest. In well, where are the Simpsons? Simpsons, because I got a letter. Jobs. You know, just as I say, I'm 
I'm very proud and pleased. I wish you all well in the games to come here. Mr. President, do you have any encouraging thoughts about the budget negotiations? Are things going well there? Uh, no question. I'm, I'm only going to talk about this. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. We were particularly inspired by your portrayal of being a double amputee. You have a lot of spirit and the audience were not here, but I can make a good time for you. Precedes the games in Los Angeles. These are June the 19th through July the 4th. You have a standing invitation to come if you will. Thank you very we'll much. Reissue it as the time grows near. May I say that Dr. Tim Nugent is the father of wheelchair basketball in the United States and really the father of wheelchair Dr. Nugent at the University of Illinois. Well, is really the father of wheelchair sports in America. And we all owe a great deal to him. I don't know whether being a father is appropriate. <laughs> 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 up there this time, we do have an elevator now. <laughs> it was a long walk. <laughs> and I say this too, if I may, that uh, this entire program is really in the true spirit of your program of volunteerism. Everything is being done through volunteers. All the funds will be raised through the public sector. No monies from uh, taxes or anything of that nature. We're not okay, seeking that. In that light, uh, listen, wouldn't you all like to come in here as long as our photographers are still here? Could right? uh, be. Can you get a picture? Mr. President, I think you would be happy to know that in the 35 years of wheelchair sports, there's never been a paid employee. Yet we have thousands and thousands of people competing every year in national games and tournaments and all sports. And I think that's commendable and it does fit with. And we're the only, only country that does so. Yeah. We're the only country the only that one. totally privately supports the entire effort. And every once in a while I read those columns sneering at me and telling me that the, well, I saw the CBS show last night, the special, mm -hmm. and uh, as if volunteerism, uh, you know, only government can do it. But I don't believe that. Well, these two young men are perfect examples because they're both leaders in the field. Thank you, well, Mr. President. And I know what he's doing now. <laughs> so, we're going to have a few answers for Mr. Morris. Very constructive, very positive answers, and work hard at it. And I'll guarantee you that we'll have a good program for you. I looked at that last night, and uh, even without checking in here, or checking out anything, every one of those things was dishonest. 